Senate. But first, joining us now, he guided the whole process, as <laughs> promised, Senate Judiciary <laughs> Committee Chairman uh, Lindsey Graham is with us. Well, I did notice a little bit of a temper tantrum, and there are a lot of threats going on about packing the court and ending the Ooh. legislative filibuster Ooh. and uh, amnesty Ooh. and a lot of power grabs. Um, not easy. <laughs> well, the Internet's melting down. I mean, there is an absolute desire to take me out. LindseyGraham.com. I need your help now more than ever. But to the American people, you're the biggest winner tonight. You have a constitutional conservative woman who understands the difference between my job and being a judge. She's one of the most highly educated people ever to go on the court. She's not from Harvard. She's not from Yale. She is a normal person. She's going to do an awesome job. Thank you, President Trump. But the big winner tonight is conservative women. To all those conservative women who go through hell for being conservative, who get beat up by the mainstream media for embracing your faith, being pro-life, being traditional in your family structure, you're a winner tonight. There's a seat at the table for you. This is not a glass ceiling being broken. This is a concrete barrier being broken. Uh, Amy Barrett represents every aspiration of a young conservative woman. She's going to do awesome. I cannot wait for her to uh, be on the Supreme Court tomorrow. In many ways, I suspect, I've been watching this whole process, and we all saw what happened with, with now Justice Kavanaugh, <laughs> that the Democrats, had yeah. it not been so close to an election, would have smeared, slandered, besmirched, and they would have, uh, they would do what they did to Kavanaugh, or would have done. And and Justice Absolutely. Thomas, who, who will administer the oath tonight, and and what they did to Robert Bork, if they could, they would have. But instead, I, yeah. I want to get your take on this. We're going to pack the courts. Everything's on the table, and the legislative filibuster, D.C., Puerto Rico statehood, full-on amnesty. I yeah. assume something of value. They would appreciate votes yeah. and future elections. Yeah. That, to me, now talk, speaks of one-party rule, and they'll do it. Your thoughts? They're going to do it. Now, the only reason they won't do it is if the American people stop them. We must maintain control of the United States Senate. You've got Joni Ernst on the ballot from Iowa. You've got Martha McSally, two great conservative women. Uh, you've got Susan Collins, who's been just terrific senator for Maine, helped Judge Kavanaugh, helped us with the tax cuts. So help all of us. We cannot turn over the entire government to this radical left. Schumer's speech tonight was disgusting. Uh, he's the guy that started the filibuster with Bush 43. He's the guy, along with Senator Kennedy, who declared war on all things conservative. It's Alito. It's Kavanaugh. It's Thomas. It's Bork. It's not the process. They tried to destroy Judge Kavanaugh's life. Amy Barrett is probably a beneficiary from the Kavanaugh hearings. It blew up in their face. The American people hated what they did to Kavanaugh, so I think they were more respectful to Judge Barrett. But let me just say this. The Internet is on fire tonight, Phil. They are raising money like crazy to take back the Senate and beat President Trump. Help me help everybody I just named, lindsaygram.com. These people want it, man. My opponents raised $109 million, the most in the United States, history of the United States Senate. Let's all fight back together, but let's celebrate tonight. President Trump, you put three great conservative justices on the court, this 250 so pivotal, judges though. in the first term. Conservatives need yes. to understand what what court packing would mean, what D.C. Puerto Rico statehood would mean. Oh that, my that, God! That, what what all of these paragraphs? By the way, we've been given the one minute, the White House swearing in of Amy Coney Barrett. Uh, the swearing in will be done by Justice Clarence yeah. Thomas. Um, by the way, if you never read his yeah. book, My Grandfather's Son, it's a great book. I still tell everybody all the time. Yeah. Uh, but all of this yeah. higher taxes, amnesty. When I say this is the tipping point of all tipping point elections, you're right. It's your race. It's Tillis. It's Joni Ernst. It's Martha McSally. It's Cory Gardner. It's Purdue. It is Mitch McConnell. Uh, you know, all of us. Even Susan Collins, who I disagreed with on this vote. It is all in the balance because they will do this. What would that mean to the country? They will go from. Okay, number one, they're going to take the number nine and expand it to probably 13, 
to wipe out the conservative majority. They'll pack it with liberals. That means the court loses its independence. They'll do away with the legislative filibuster. They're going to do away with the electoral college, which means New York and California pick the president in perpetuity. Iowa, South Carolina, and Arizona won't count anymore. They're going to have open borders and free health care for illegal immigrants. All of them raise their hand. They will turn this country from a free enterprise nation to a socialist nation, from a law and order nation to chaos. They will they will reward the most radical agenda in the history of the country that's trying to take us all out. Now we got a chance here to make history. Can you imagine four all more right, years Lindsay, of President that Trump? That music means uh, the first.